Hello, I'm Alistair Walker from Shaw Moisture Meters and today I'm going to show you how to take a quick accurate reading using the Shaw SADP dew point meter. The Shaw dew point meter is designed to work at atmospheric pressure and the head is rated to 0.3 bar G. To create an ample sample we would use a pressure regulator if working at a higher pressure rate. This is to prevent damage to the head and we would also recommend a filtration unit if any contaminants are likely within the sample. This is to prevent contamination to the sensor. We would also recommend that the unit is sampled at 5 litres per minute which can be seen here within the flow meter. We would connect the sample unit using PTFE to the pressure regulator using as short a length as possible of PTFE. This is then connected to the flow indicator which is already preset at 5 litres per minute. We would then connect the flow meter onto the SADP using as short a length as possible again. Now we would also connect an exhaust vat to the instrument to prevent any moisture ingress into the head causing false readings. We would now switch the unit to battery. As you can see here the battery is indicated well within the battery check limit which is indicated here on the green scale of the battery. Anything left of this would cause an incorrect reading. We would now switch the unit to read which indicates minus 76. We would recommend that the unit reads anything left of minus 70 which shows that the sieve is in good condition. Now to take the sample reading we would simply cover the exhaust valve to raise the desiccant head. The desiccant head must not be raised by hand as this could also create moisture within the sample chamber. Now we've let the unit stabilise for two to five minutes, we would now take the sample reading. The sample reading can then be taken and once taken we would depress the desiccant head using our hand to prevent any moisture ingress. This speedens up the response for the next reading as the unit is drying down.